Hey everybody, I thought I'd give you a quick little demo of my Maker 1000 plant monitoring system. So this is it up and running right here. I got a quick little client um, displaying temperature, uh, light exposure, and moisture. And then I just got a little numbers here for total number of people viewing the site. Um, basically, the, the project is super simple. Um, I use the standard for Formata Wi-Fi sketch and uh, a Node app using Johnny5 to kind of communicate between the two over Wi-Fi and just basically using sockets to send this information to the user. So uh, to get started, basically, you just fire up the Arduino IDE and then you need to open up the standard Formato Wi-Fi sketch. Just read over the config and get it set up um, to match your network. It's, it's super simple. You, on, you only change um, a few lines in here. I'd recommend, uh, there's, there's tons of guides out there. I'm not super familiar with it. I was able to get it working by reading, uh, just reading the comments. So everything's well documented in here. But basically you just need to, if you're using the MKR1000, you would comment out this guy here by adding these two leading slashes. And then uncomment the Wi-Fi 101 because that's what's on board on the MKR1000 and we're gonna use that to communicate over the Wi-Fi. You'll need to scroll down. I'm using a static IP address. This is not required, but it just makes it a little easier because now I know it's going to connect on, <clears throat> use this address to connect, so uh, super easy. And then scroll on down here. You'll need to enter your SSID and password. That's pretty much it. These are both for WPA. If you're using um, something else, uh, WEP, you, you need to set them up as well. I just kind of entered it for both. And uh, that's it. Just get your settings configured. Come back over here, you would compile it and then load it and everything should be good to go. So once that's all uploaded, then we'll come over here and look at the Node app. So this is a little app I wrote in Node.js. It's an express server. It's going to basically receive the readings from the Maker 1000 using Johnny5. And when I get those readings, I'm either going to pipe them to the current user on the client or every 10 seconds, I'll also save them to a rethink DB. So let's just kind of look at the code here a little bit. So this is where I'm actually getting the connection here to the board. All right, and then this is all pretty standard if you use Johnny5. Once the board is ready, then I go ahead and set up all my good stuff here. So I set up my three sensors. So we have a temperature sensor, a moisture sensor, and a light sensor. And the Johnny 5 library is awesome, man. It makes it super easy to set these guys up and pulling data is really simple, man. Congrats on those guys. They did some great work. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's johnny5.io and it's, it's, it's awesome. I'm just using basically really simple stuff here. I'm just doing three analog sensors and uh, I just set the frequency to 250 milliseconds because I'm only actually displaying the data every second on the client. So I could probably slow this down if I needed to. Um, here's the connection here. So this is when clients uh, open the page. I kind of admit the users to keep track of like how many people have joined. So if we just come here, yeah, then you get five users and he bounces out and get four. So that's, that's just using websites to keep track of how many people are viewing the page. And then I set an interval. And so for every, every thousand milliseconds or every second, I go ahead and emit that chart data to the client. And uh, I'm just kind of admitting <clears throat> Emitting, emitting the readings, basically the temperature sensor, light sensor, and moisture sensor readings. And then every 10 seconds, I go ahead and save the measurements, the same readings uh, to the database. And so now I have a historical data. And so over here on the client, uh, when the page renders, I basically just stream whatever the readings are and they fill this chart out. And then the users can click through down here. They can click through on either one of these three and view historical data for that type of reading. So here's all the temperature readings. And so at the top here, I think I load 5,000 points. So these are like the last 5,000 points that you're seeing here. So if we want to just zoom in right there on that spike, let's see the temperature row is pretty good. And basically that's it. You just click through on each one. You can see historical data for each of them. Check out any certain points you find interesting, stuff like that. Real basic stuff. Uh, didn't take. I didn't have to write a lot of uh, code. I mean, it looks like a lot of code, but I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, and I think that's that's the way we should go, guys. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna post all this code on GitHub, and uh, you know, I'd love to hear some feedback. Thanks.